Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much would depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like I share with you this update. Making money with insecurity in the southeast must stop. Once I'm out of detention, Kanu Ruas. Yes, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyendu Mazinam Kanu, has stated in clear terms, yes, categorically, that insecurity in the southeast is artificial. So there are people who are making money with this insecurity, with this state of crisis, chaos in the region. Yes, say so the governors, politicians, they are responsible for the insecurity in the southeast. That's what Mazna Makano said at the Federal High Court in Abuja, today being 19th day of March 2024. Yes, he said, look, this is crime. So then we will not go scot free. They are committing crime. The politicians, yes, look at the statement, quote, they are doing it because I'm in DSS custody. If I were to be outside, nobody can try this. I suspect that some people in the government are complicit. They are making money with the insecurity. They know if Namdekan is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the bugger or idiot that will speak when I am talking? That I will give another in the East. Who is the idiot that will counter it? Nobody can. I am Namdekan rubbish. Anybody involved in any form of violence in the East, in the name of IPOB, is a gunner. And they know it, let me come out of this mess. In only two minutes, there will be peace in the East. And of course, yes. That's what we have been saying about the insecurity. The insecurity was created by the DSS officials, by the a bag militia, by the Hopos Adema group, by the Devil Mahe group. Yes, all of them, Southeast governors, notably among them we have mentioned, Uzo Adema and his cohorts, they are creating insecurity with DSS. They will use them of IPOB. IPOB committed crime there. They committed crime on the other side. Yes, ES and IPOB. ES and IPOB everywhere. Whereas, this crime has been committed by these state actors in quotes. Yes, that is what they are doing. They will disguise themselves and cover their faces with masks. And they will say, and they will invade communities. They will attack villagers. And they will say, IPOB, yes. The day of the sister at home, the day of the sister at home, people on their own accord will go inside and stay. They don't need anybody to push them. The government will tell people, come out that day, come out, sit at home, it has ended, come out, come out. It's ended. Oh, IPOB have said there's no sit at home again. You have to come out. Master Samarkan has said there's no sit at home again. You have to come out. This is that. And when some people will listen to it and think it is true, they will come out. And the same government will send some persons, like the DSS, to disguise themselves and mask their face and they will go out and start shooting the people. Yes, they will kill. Yes, they will kill people. And they will say, IPOB is implementing it at home. They are killing their own people. People who say they are bringing Biafra for you. They want to give you freedom. Why are they killing you? You see? So they try to make people to be afraid of the IPOB, be afraid of ESF, be afraid of agitation, to make people to distance themselves from the agitation. This is what they are doing. Yes. They will be the one to tell people, come out, see the room has ended. They still be the one to disguise and send their destiny to go and undercover, you know, hoodlums to go and attack the people. And they will say, IPOB, ESL. Yes, are we talking about those who are making money? Making money, they will run to Abuja and say, oh, insecurity is in, this, in the Imo state, in Anambra state, in this place, and all. oh, in the South East, everywhere insecurity. They will collect a huge amount of money as security votes, looting money. I would talking about the military, the army, that will collect millions from the state governors in South East. Say they want to stop insecurity, yet they are the one perpetuating the insecurity, so that they will be collecting a huge amount of money from these governors. Yes, they are the ones causing the insecurity. They are the ones causing the insecurity. The army, all of them. Those who are terrorists, these guys in military uniform, they are the ones doing it. 
the governors are looting money from it. Yes, all of them are into it. They are making money from it. That is what is happening. Agitation is not brewing any insecurity. Yes, ESN was established even before Mazen Makano went into illegal detention. Yes, it has been established. So it is there. They are not causing insecurity. Before the BLA came on board and all his guests was making sure that South East is safe. Those who are bringing terrorists are the one causing insecurity. They said they are the military men. So the ESN, the BLA, they have one objective to, you know, what if the Marudas, the invaders, foreign invaders, assailants, some Marud themselves as henchmen, yes, attack communities, villages, yes, rape women, destroy farmlands. That is it. So what are we talking about? This is what Mazanuka said. He was angry about it. Yes. He was angry about it. He will give order and people will say, oh, he has written a letter to counter the order. No. So this is what is happening. And we said, yes, these are those who are complicit in it. The state governors, the DSS, the army, the, 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 the police, okay? They are all of them into it, making money from it. Look at the toll gates. They are collecting money everywhere. They put toll gates everywhere, suffering the people. That is what is happening. Mazen Khan is annoyed. He's not happy with it. Yes. And we salute Mazen Khan. So far, he has been making sure that the detention of Mazen Khan is still in the front burner. If not for him, by now, nobody will be hiding about Mazen Khan again. Yes. He's the one to make sure that to, to this moment, people are still talking about, oh, Mazen Khan is in detention. Oh, he's been detained illegally against the laws of the land, against the United Nations uh, Working Group on Human Rights declaration that he is free from all the frivolous charges leveled against him by the federal government. That his abduction and his order rendition was illegal and it was, you know, you know, in contrast with the Leiden International Protocols and Treaty. Yes. So the activities of BLA, yes, they are still making the sun is to be safe. Yes. That is the point. So, those who this matter is being addressed to, they are aware. Yes, Mazam Khan has made a statement, and those people they know they are the ones involved. They know themselves. That is the point. They know each other. They know that they are the ones being addressed. That is the point. Biafra continues. Biafra is gaining international acclaim. Biafra is gaining international, you know, momentum. And uh, we are happy about it. That alas, this thing is moving forward. And that is the point. There's no case for people to really feel anything, you know, you know, like uh, resigning to fate or feel dispirited. Rather, they have to get their lawyers and know that they still, you know, the journey is still ahead. And victory is assured because Aluta continues.